friends, last evening a neighbor invited my husband and I out to go dig some wild ramps. So if you've ever done them before, this is what they look like. And they grow in clumps and we were able to harvest quite a few. Please note that I am not an expert and we were able to pick these ramps only because we had a neighbor that was showing us exactly what they look like. So be certain that you know what you're looking for before you go out foraging. Use caution because there are some plant lookalikes that are poisonous. So we already cleaned these last night. We cut off the root ends, so all of the stringy roots we cut off and we got them nice and clean. We rinsed them three or four different times to make sure that everything was clean and then just put them on this towel and then in the refrigerator overnight so to stay cool. So today I need to process them. I'm going to make one of them into a quiche. Well, not one of them, but I mean a cluster of them is gonna be a quiche. I'm gonna use one of these pre-made ready to bake pie crusts and that'll be the base and I'll just put the other one. They're both pre packaged in their own package so I'll just put the other one in the fridge. I have an abundance of duck eggs so the base of the quiche is going to be made with using my home harvested, homegrown I guess, duck eggs. I'm going to use this vegan chow shredded cheese. I've never used this before. It says creamy. I'm not going to use the whole package but I will use some of it. I don't have any fresh onions. I was hoping to find uh, some morels when we went out harvesting and foraging, but I didn't find any. So I'm going to use these dehydrated mushrooms from last year. Use them up. I might even use all of them. I'm going to use a few of these dehydrated cherry tomatoes from last year. I also found some dehydrated peppers. So I will use some of these. I won't use all of them because that's a lot of peppers, but I will use some of them. I also had a half of a package of turkey bacon in the fridge. I would use regular bacon, but this was actually getting a little bit more freezer burnt because it was a half of a package and not sealed in its original container. So I wanted to go ahead and use that. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to fry this up with some garlic. Not fry it, but get it a little crispy with some garlic. And then I will add that to my pan. I'm going to take my dehydrated peppers, mushrooms, and tomatoes and I'm going to add some boiling water to them to get them rehydrated first. Okay, I got my bacon browned up and put in the pan with garlic. I browned up a little bit of gar chopped up garlic. I've got the pie crusts already in here and I decided that I have enough filling and plenty of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and make two quiches while I'm at it so that that way we can eat one for dinner tonight and then we'll have leftovers for breakfast for the rest of this week. I've got some ramps cut up. I think I chose about like eight of them. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but they are pretty strong flavor. So I found out when I was doing a little bit of research that the ramps that are pink, they have a pink stem, they are more fragrant and flavorful than the ones with the white stem. I can show you the difference, I think. Okay, here you go. Here's the difference. One is pink and one is white. They're both ramps. They're two different species of ramps. So, but they're both edible. The one with the white is a little bit less aromatic, a little less flavorful. Um, the one that's pink is a little bit more flavorful, a little bit more pungent. So there you go. I'm just going to lightly saute these ramp bulbs and the stems. I got a couple of leaves in there by accident. I'm just going to lightly saute that with some salt and pepper. Okay, so I've got the bacon, the garlic, the ramps that were sauteed in salt and pepper, and then just a sprinkling of the chow cheese. Now I'm going to put my other vegetables in. I had my other vegetables just soaking in a little bit of hot, boiling hot water, so I'm going to string these out, and then I'll probably fine chop these just a little bit more. Alright, there's my veggies. I'm just going to divide it up between the two quiche. All right, I have my eggs washed and scrambled, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of oat milk. We are dairy-free. I usually use almond milk, but I don't really want any like leftover almond taste in with the ramp, so that's why I'm gonna use some almond milk. I already put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper in there. Okay, 
gonna have to do more eggs. Yep, looks like I have to whip up a couple more eggs, so maybe a dozen and a half would have done it. This time I'm just gonna use some chicken eggs. There we go. Maybe even it out. Chicken eggs look a little more yellow than the duck eggs do. All right, I'm gonna put these in the oven at 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the insides of the eggs are finished, cooked through. Okay, while my quiches are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make some ramp basil. No, ramp pesto but I'm not going to use pine nuts. I'm gonna use a different kind of nut. And I'm also gonna use make some pickled ramps. So let's give it a try. So first I'm gonna put it on a pot of water to boil because I need to blanch the ramps. But in order to do that, I need some boiling water and I need some ice cubes and a bowl so that I can put them right into cold water once I blanch them. Then I need to cut the leaves away from the bulbs so I'm gonna cut it about an inch away from the actual bulb the bulbs are going to be pickled and the leaves are going to be the pesto so these are the, gonna be the, the part that I blanch so I'm gonna cut all of these off of their bulbs and separate the greens from the bulbs okay here's my separated leeks I've got the bulbs over on this side these are the ones that I'm gonna blanch and then the leaves over on this side I don't know if I'm gonna make all of these pesto um, okay, my water is boiling and I have my ice bath right here in this little slotted spoon so that I can take the leaks right out and into the um, ice water. The recipe says to blanch them until they are crisp tender. I don't know what that means. Um, I guess maybe if I tasted each one. It says about 30 seconds though. So... All right, that's about 30 seconds. Oh, and it looks like they're starting to come to the surface a little bit. Yep, so that's cool. So I would say probably when they float. So I'm gonna let these cool down. And while these cool down, I'm gonna get my pickling, pickling juice, pickling brine. Yeah, I'm gonna get my pickling brine ready. I'm just going to save some of this hot water to mix in with a little bit of white vinegar, red vinegar, and then my pickling spices. Okay, I've got my blanched ramps in my little jar and I've got my pickling spices and my brine on the stove warming up. I'm not gonna get it really boiling, boiling because I don't want it all that hot going over the cold ramps, but I just want this to mix in and then I'll pour it over the ramps. Okay, so I need two cups of chopped ramp leaves, so I've got that in the mixer. A couple cl cloves of garlic. A half cup of nuts, I'm gonna use some walnuts. And a half cup of olive oil. I 
I'm making this without any cheese so that everybody can eat it in my house. So my blender food, food processor is incredibly loud, so I'm gonna go ahead and process this and show you what it looks like. All right, I just tasted that and it's still pretty strong. So I just took all of the pesto and divided it into tiny little teaspoons. I'm gonna put this in the freezer and freeze it like I do freeze basil pesto so that I can just add it to noodles and sauces and rice and that sort of thing. So this is gonna go in the freezer and once it's frozen solid, I'll put them all in a little baggie, label it and put them in the freezer. Okay, and before we cut into it for dinner, Here's what the finished quiches look like. They took about 45 minutes instead of 35. I like to have them a little thicker, so that's probably why. So we're gonna get this cut up and this is what we're gonna eat for dinner.